Hey everyone, how's it going? Brandon from Singletons here, and today I've got a really strong budget deck for Magic Online, starring Ken and Bonder Prodigy. For just 10 tickets, this is a blue-green combo deck focused on generating infinite mana and then using that mana to loop effects over and over until we win. Kinnon himself is a key combo piece for us, so let's start there. Kinnon, Bonder Prodigy, is a green and a blue for a 2-2 human druid with two abilities. Whenever you tap a non-land permanent for mana, add one mana of any type that permanent produced. You can also pay 7 mana to look at the top 5 cards of your library and put a non-human creature from among them onto the battlefield, put the rest on the bottom of your library. So right off the bat, Kinnon wants to help you make a lot of mana and then use that mana to put creatures into play. Ideally, we'll use one of these mana doubling abilities to get infinite mana, and then use Kinnon to put every creature in our deck into play. From there we can win with a few different abilities, but we'll get to that later. First, let's talk about our mana combos. Our first combo piece is going to be either Freed from the Real or Pemanzora. They're both 3 mana, blue, creature enchantments with this very important ability. Pay a single blue to untap the enchanted creature. Use one of these to enchant a creature that taps for at least 2 mana, like Bloom Tender or Incubation Druid, and boom, infinite mana. Just tap the creature for 2 mana, use 1 on Freed from the Real or Pemanzora to untap the creature, and you're back where you started, plus 1 mana. Keep doing it over and over again. Don't have a creature that taps for 2 mana? Well, we can still work with one of our creatures that only taps for one, thanks to our mana doublers. Kinnon makes sure that our creatures produce an extra mana when we tap them. Mana Reflections literally doubles the mana any of our permanents tap for, and Nyx Bloom Ancient goes all the way to tripling that mana instead. If we need to, we can also enchant one of our untappers, like Kiora's Follower, and repeatedly tap and untap Simic Growth Chamber for infinite green mana, which Flooded Grove can then filter into blue for us. Some other cards to talk about with this general combo idea are Cryptolithrite, Basalt Monolith, Palancron, and Ashaya, Soul of the Wild. Cryptolithrite turns all of our creatures into Birds of Paradise. Basalt Monolith can produce infinite colorless mana as soon as it starts tapping for more than 3 thanks to its untap ability. Palancron can untap your lands and return itself to your hand infinitely as long as you have a mana doubler out. And Ashaya turns our creatures into forests, meaning they can tap for green and also be untapped by Voyaging Sider or Arbor Elf. Combo number 2. Pillapala and Grand Architect. An oldie but a goodie, this combo is much more straightforward and is contained entirely to these two creatures. Using Grand Architect, pay a blue mana to turn Pillapala blue, then tap the blue Pillapala for two generic mana. Use that mana on Pillapala's own ability to untap it and produce one mana of any color. Then just repeat steps two and three. Also, it's important to note that none of these abilities are affected by summoning sickness, plus both of these pieces can be hit off of Kinnon's ability. And finally, combo number three, Isochron Scepter, Dramatic Reversal, going infinite since 2017. Isochron Scepter is a two mana artifact. When it enters the battlefield, you exile an instant from your hand that costs two or less. You can then pay two and tap it to cast the exiled spell, which is gonna be Dramatic Reversal. This spell untaps all non-land permanents you control, including the Isochron Scepter itself. Now, you'll need to have enough non-land permanents on board to make three mana for this combo to work, but that shouldn't be a problem for this deck. Just tap enough non-land permanents to produce 3 mana, use 2 of it to activate Isochron Scepter, which is going to cast Dramatic Reversal. It will untap itself, plus permanents that you tap for 3 mana, and now you're back where you started, plus 1 mana. Keep going until you have enough. So now that we have infinite mana, how do we actually win? Ideally, we'll get Kinnon onto the board and then use his ability until we have every creature in the deck in play. Or we can also cast Blue Sun Zenith to draw our entire library, then play every creature in our hand. At that point, we can abuse Deadeye Navigator's Blink ability to create infinite tokens from Hornet Queen and or pump our creatures infinitely with Endray's Forerunners. We can also destroy all of our opponent's lands with Acidic Slime or draw the rest of our library with Regal Force. And then with no library left, we can cast Thassa's Oracle or activate Jace Wielder of Mysteries to draw a card or cast Blue Sun Zenith on each opponent, making them draw until they have no cards left. Ultimately, the best win condition may just be letting your opponents concede while you take your time considering exactly how you'd like to win. Aside from our combos, we have a pretty standard set of cards to get us ahead and deal with our opponents. You can definitely swap these around as necessary, but I've picked cards to deal with certain problems we might face. Disallow and Void Slime are counter spells that can counter triggered and activated abilities. Miri's Guile and Sylvan Library let us set up the top of our deck. Reality Shift and Raven Form are for permanently removing problem creatures. Green Warden of Maratza and Rift Sweeper will get us back key pieces that have been removed and Seedborn Muse and Wilderness Reclamation will let us get away with using our mana way more than we should be allowed to. So, that's my Kin and Combo deck for Magic Online. Again, this whole deck is only 10 tickets, which is about $10, so it's super cheap and a super powerful deck to get into playing Commander in Magic Online or just adding a new deck to the collection. As always, there's a link to the deck list in the description where you can view the full 99 or check out my page for the other decks I've worked on. If you've got opinions on the deck, anything you like or don't like, please leave me a comment. 
And also feel free to let me know if there's a deck you'd like to see in the future. Well, that's all for Singletons this time, but I hope to see you all real soon.